Abbott and Costello program, brought to you by Camels, the cigarette that's first in the service. Listen to the music of Freddie Rich and his orchestra, Billy Gray as Little Matilda, Mel Blank is the famous Leon Schlesinger cartoon character Bugs Bunny, tonight's guest, metro Golden mayor star of the best foot forward, Miss Lucille Ball, and starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Costello, late as usual. Why, what kept you this time? Ah, oh, I was waiting for our new letter carrier, Abbott. Yes? Yeah, and it turned out to be a dame. Boy, did I have trouble with her. And what kind of trouble? She tried to kiss me. Yeah, she kept right on kissing me on the eyes, on the nose, on the chin. Wait a minute. Why didn't she kiss you on the lips? Well, she's new at the post office, and she can't find the right zone. The right zone. <laughs> there you go again, Costello. I can read your mind like a book. All I can see is women, women, and women. Where did you turn the page for? You'll find some girls. Yeah, yeah, girls. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. Every night you're out late with girls. Last night you were out with two. Yeah, but I only caught one. No, 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 no. Boy, no. was she beautiful. I met her down at the Lone Palm. King Johnny's joint. Oh. <laughs> was she a gorgeous aircraft worker? She was? What a fuselage. A fuselage. <laughs> That little aircraft worker did something to me, brother. No kidding. I took her in my arms. I felt the pounding in my chest. You mean your heart was beating? No, she forgot to turn off her riveting machine. No. <laughs> now, see here, Costello. You'll have to stop this. Either you stop going around with all these girls and talking about them all at a time, or we're through. I didn't know you felt that way, Abbott. Yes. All right, I promise. I won't look at another girl if I live to be a thousand years old. Hello, my fat little sugar man. How time flies! <laughs> Gee, honey, you look cute tonight. Do you really think so, honey? Yeah. Now I know what they mean by the solid south. Uh, uh, all right, Costello, look. Don't it's... get it, eh? No, all right, look. If you're so anxious to go out with girls, why don't you pick out some nice girl like Connie Haynes here? Ah, uh, Connie won't go out with me. Yes, I will, Mr. Costello. I had a fight with my family tonight, and I want to disgrace them. Uh... <laughs> hey, what did I tell you, Abbott? There's no use. I'm surprised at you. Did George Washington give up at Valley Forge? He had a tough time. Never mind. Did Paul Revere give up? No, but Paul Revere had a horse she could depend on. Well, well, you've got me. I'd rather have the horse. I are. Uh... Well, Miss Costello, I'll go out with you on one condition. If you all get me a pair of nylon stockings. A pair of nylon stockings? That's a deal. Now, now, don't be silly, Costello. You can't get nylon. Oh, can't. I can get one pair, two pair. I can get a dozen pair of nylon. That OPA hears everything. <laughs> Goodbye, my fat little sugar man. I'll see you at 8 o'clock tonight with a nylon. Gee, Abbott, I guess I talk too fast. Where am I going to get a pair of nylons? I want to go out with Connie Haynes. Well, why don't you be smart? Be nice to Mrs. Niles. That's right, Costello. My wife has a pair of nylon stockings. Now, wait a minute, Niles. You mean a dame with those ugly legs spends money for stockings? Well, now, what do you expect her to wear? Hip boots. Yeah, hip boots. <laughs> That remark, Costello. Ah, oh, well, if it isn't Mrs. Niles in the flesh. And I use the word loosely. Oh, you funny, funny man. And I use the word physically. <laughs> I, you know, there's nothing wrong with my legs. Why, I was once a ballet dancer. I used to kick my leg way up in the air. Yeah, and on the way down, you catch it. Now. <laughs> now, look, why do you fight with Mrs. Niles? Her oh. legs are very attractive. Are you kidding? Ah. She's so bow-legged, every time she runs, she looks like an egg beater. <laughs> Am legs... I insulting you? <laughs> My legs are perfectly straight, Costello. Look at them. They're just like arrows. Feathers and all. <laughs> Feathers. Of all the nerve. I'm not an old hen. Oh, no. Get back into your coop. Come on, get back in your coop. Stop that. Hit, 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 hit. Now, hit, stop hit. that, I said. Quick, quick, quick. Kenneth, will you please say something? <laughs> Kenneth Niles, you come with me. No. Door, door slams. Never oh, mind. No, no, no. Excuse me. Come here, Costello. Well, I was written here. Now, never mind what's written there. Excuse me. It's 
Well, you've driven Mrs. Niles out of the studio again. Oh, pilot the navigator, pilot the navigator, sighted dame, tank same. <laughs> I think that's very funny, but I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> it's little Matilda. Matilda, what are you doing out of school? My teacher sent me home because I kissed a little boy. You kissed a boy? Well, it wasn't exactly a kiss. We were eating the same liquor stick and I chewed past my hand. <laughs> now, look, Matilda, will you please go home? I can't. I'll get lost. Oh, no, you won't. The train stops at every station. Why does it stop at every station, Uncle Louie? Because it's a milk train. Do they have to milk it at every station? <laughs> How do you like a little kid? Three and a half years yeah. old wants to know if you have to milk a train. Milk a station. train, milk a train. It's impossible. You, you can't milk a train. That's silly. How are they going to get a big train to sit on a little stool? Ah. Ah. Now, look, Ma Matilda, please. Don't worry, Uncle Louie. He's trying to get a pair of nylon stockings. You can get a pair of nylon stockings from my friend Betty Grable. Betty Grable? How do you know she has nylons? Because that's where I saw her put her money. The Bank of America never had branches like that. <laughs> Wait a minute, Matilda. Uh, maybe you can help Uncle Louie. Do you oh. really know Betty Grable? Yeah. Here's a picture of us on a bicycle. That's me on the handlebars. Mm-hmm. But uh, why have you got such a surprised look on your face? Cold handlebars. Cold handlebars. Back to Abbott and Costello and their search for nylon stockings. Well, Costello, I guess we came to the right place. Look at that sign. Square Deal, Beagle Bottoms, The Happy. Oh, so happy store. Oh, yeah. no. uh, Costello, what was that? That was Beagle Bottom making a cheerful refund. <laughs> oh, boy. I wonder where the hosiery department is. Let's uh, ask this fellow over here. Uh, pardon me, mister. Are you the floor walker? What do you think I am with this carnation on a flower pot? <laughs> After all, I'm not a jerk, you know. Well, you're not trying. <laughs> Costello, don't antagonize the man. He might be able to help you, you know. Oh, I think you got something there, Abbott. Mister, please, mister. I wish you could do something for me. I gotta get a pair of nylons. We haven't any nylons, and stop licking my hand. <laughs> it's no use, Abbott. All right. Forget about the nylons and the date with Connie Haynes. Uh, just a moment, gentlemen. I can give you a tip on a real bargain. Uh, due to a slight oversight in our tailoring department, we have 4,000 pairs of three-legged pants. <laughs> three-legged pants? That's great. I'll tell all my three-legged friends. <laughs> but don't tell them all. Remember, only one pair to a customer. <laughs> Come on, Abby. Let's get out of here. I'm oh. away from this guy. Oh, all right. right. Don't get excited. Wait a minute. We'll try the sales girl here. Oh, miss, uh, can you tell us where we might get a pair of nylons? Sorry, I can't help you. You see, I'm in long underwear. <laughs> Itchy, isn't it? <laughs> Stop insulting people. Now, there's only one, to get, one way to get those nylons, uh, Lou. Listen to me. We'll have to see uh, Mr. Beetlebottom. Personally, we've got to do this. Now, come on. Here's the elevator. Up, 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 up. That's enough, Up, 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 up. Cut it out. Have you tried baking soda? Uh, uh, look, never mind that. All right, folks, step lively. Get a move on. Plenty of room on the second layer. Are uh, you going up? Yeah. What's up, Doc? What's cooking, Satchel? Costello, look, it's Bugs Bunny. <laughs> hey, Bugs. What are you doing running an elevator? Well, I'm replacing a woman that's essential, Doc. Come on, stop wasting time. Get us up there. Okay, Doc. Come on up. <laughs> Go up too fast for your fat show? No, I always wear my pants at half mast. <laughs> Bugs, will you please let us out? Okay, Doc. Eight floor, chewing gum, chocolate bar, sweet cream, butter, T-bone steaks, and other picture postcards. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm going to murder this rabbit. Oh, no, no, don't pay any attention to him. Now, we've got to see Mr. Bigglebottom about those nylon stockings. There, there's a secretary. Uh, pardon me, miss. Can we see uh, Mr. Bigglebottom? Okay, did you have an apartment? <laughs> an apartment? No. Then why did you want to see him a bird? I want to see him a bird some nylon stickers. <laughs> oh, nylon! They're having a big 
sail in just a moment down that second arrow. Oh, thanks. Come on, Herbert. Uh, what kind of talk is that? Well, I, well, stop talking like that. Hurry up. We'll miss the sail. Here you are, people. Here you are. Nylon stockings. Nylon stockings. Hey, you. You over there. I'll take a pair. For selling. I'm buying. <laughs> I must be from Nancy's. <laughs> Hey, Costello, stop uh, pulling around. Look up at that sign there. One pair of nylons goes on sale in less than a minute. Hey, but there's 500 women ahead of me. Oh, what do you care? Go on, squeeze through. Oh, just a minute, young man. You can't squeeze in here. Okay, babe, let's go outside. <laughs> hey, yo, watch how you're talking to my mother. She's a pistol packer mama. What are you, one of the blanks? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Quiet, Costello. Is everybody Quiet. Quiet, please. Quiet. We are about to put on sale one pair of nylons. Remember, only one pair. The first one to get to the counter will receive the nylons and free medical attention. <laughs> All right, get ready now. All right, Pat, so you gotta win this race, Doc. Hey, Bob, what are you doing on my back? I'm your jockey, Doc. How can I run fast with you on my back? Don't worry, I got a whip. Hey, hey, Fatso, your stirrups are loose. Take your feet out of my garter belt. <laughs> they're off, and they're running at bigger bottoms. And it was a bumpy start, and Costello broke fast. Rounding the hard way, he's pulling away. At the half, it's Costello cutting through the girdle department. Hey, he's into the back stretch. It's Costello by four, by six, and now a final drive down to home. It's Costello all away. There's nothing between him and the nylons. He can't lose. He's across the finish line. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the winner, Miss Lucille Ball. <laughs> Hey, what's this gag about Lucille Ball? Come on, you. Give me those stockings. Hey, guys, Costello, take your hands off that girl. It is Lucille Ball. Yes, and you won't get the stockings by wrestling with me. Who wants stockings? <laughs> <laughs> Miss, uh, Miss Ball, I'd like to apologize for this uh, unseemly conduct. I I'm Bud Abbott. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Abbott? You're the organ grinder, aren't you? Yes. I, uh, no, no. What makes you think I'm an organ grinder? Well, I thought I recognized that monkey with you. <laughs> now, wait a minute, kid. Costello. Who's the monkey? I mean, after all, I'll, 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 I'll... Uh, Unfinished speech. Costello. <laughs> Costello. <laughs> Costello, come here. Come here. Shh. Quiet. Now, you've got to play up to Miss Ball if you want to get those nylons. Remember, you can catch more flies with sugar than you can with vinegar. Who wants flies? Uh, I ain't got enough points. Wait a minute. Uh, look, Miss Ball, it's very important for Costello to get those nylon stockings. Uh, my cue, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes, and you don't need them, Seal. Who don't need them? Name me two good reasons. What are these two things I'm standing on? Chopped liver? <laughs> Abbott, <laughs> you're Costello, on. just a minute, look. <laughs> look, you better... You better let me take care of this. You know, Lou, after all, we understand things. Women are putty in my hand. Yeah, but who wants a hair full of putty? Ah! <laughs> Shut up. I'll have you know that I've got the savoir fair. You ain't even got coffee. Shut up. Hey, look, Lucille, why, why won't you give me those nylons? Give you the nylons? You've got a lot of nerve. You're nothing but a cheap panhandler. You're not even a man. Oh, yeah? Oh, now there's a great ad lib. <laughs> Look at the sheet. That's all. Read what's on there. Well, I think I'll take the nylons home. So long, slug. See you in the slot machine. Well, you fix things fine, Costello. What are you going to do now? Well, I'm going to dash right out to Lucille Ball's house. Get those stockings and dash right back. Yes, but uh, what if she's putting them on? Pilot to navigator. Cancel that last dash. <laughs> Well, Costello, here we are at Lucille Ball's house. Now, remember, you've got to make an impression on her to get those nylon stockings. Uh, comb your hair. It is combed, Abbott. Look, ain't it plastered down nice? Mm, what did you use to uh, plaster it down? Plaster. Plaster. How come, how come your hair's so yellow? Mustard plaster. Ma 
Boy, watch me go to work on that Lucille Ball. I'll turn on the Tom. Uh, you'd better let me handle it, Costello. She's more of my type. I go for those trim ankles. Uh, you couldn't afford the upkeep on an ankle like that? N- why not? That's a very classy joint. Oh, <laughs> shut up here. <laughs> I'll ring the bell. Never mind. Don't ring the bell. Can't you read the sign? Made sleeping. I'll knock. <laughs> Oh, it's about time you guys got here. You'll find the ladder and saw in the basement. Ladder and saw? Yeah, aren't you fellows from the tree surgeons? I was expecting somebody here to trim my tree trunk. We're only interested in your limbs. <laughs> Look, Miss Ball, I'm afraid you have us confused with somebody else. You met us in the department store, remember? I'm Abbott. And I'm Costello. You must have a poor memory for faces. Yeah, especially for poor faces. <laughs> Listen, what do you guys want here? It's too late for Halloween. It's too early for Groundhog Day. Now, wait a minute. What is Do I look like a groundhog? No coaching, please. <laughs> quiet, quiet, Costello. Get away from me. Uh, I'll take care of this. Uh, Miss Ball, we're just trying to be neighborly. You know how the laundry situation is, and we're here to help you with your washing. Uh, for instance, we, we wash stockings. And... Yeah, yeah, stockings. Yeah. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. Is your laundry service fast? Fast? We bring it back before it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Miss Ball, we're especially expert in the care of nylon stockings. Yeah, nylons. Nylons. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you fellas trying to talk me into something? No, we're trying to talk you out of something. <laughs> Well, I'm not interested. You'll have to leave now. Hey, Abbott, I think we're sunk. What am I going to do? Turn on the charm. Go ahead. Make love to her. Okay. Oh, Lucille, please don't send me away. I've always admired you. Come, sit with me on this love sheet, baby. <laughs> please, baby, and put your feet, or your face, your foot, <laughs> now, in my hands. Not something in my hands. Yeah, now turn it on, Costello. Turn it on. Go ahead. Lucille, I've lived for this moment. We were meant for each other. I was born to kneel at your feet. Get this G.I. haircut with a civilian approach. (laughs) Don't spur me, Lucille. Did everybody go out? (laughs) Don't spur me, Lucille. I love you. I love you, Lucille. I love you. I adore you. When I look at your face, it sets my brain on fire. I thought I smelled punk burning. (laughs) Hey, Abbott, what should I say? Recite poetry to her. Recite poetry? Yeah. Okay. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. If I don't get you, Tommy Manville must. Just a second. Who do you think you are, Santa Claus? No, why? Then stay away from my stocking. What are you trying to do, fat boy? Fat boy? Who's fat? Look at my shape, Lucille. Of course, I go in here, then I go out there, and I go in here a little... And then I go out there a little more than I go in here a little. And that's funny. I don't come back in again. Oh, stop being silly, Costello. Everybody knows you're fat. Sure. I was talking to your tailor at Universal. He says he measured you for two days before he even met you. Costello. (laughs) He's right, Costello. Hey, kid. Look, Lou, why don't you stop all this nonsense? The best thing to do is put your cards on the table. Come on. Okay, Abbott. It's this way, Lucille. I promised a pair of nylon stockings to a girl. And if you give me your nylons, I'll let you work in my next picture. Threatening me will get you nowhere. (laughs) Oh, we could do a terrific love scene. (laughs) Come here, Lucille. I'll show you the kiss. I'm getting the hiccups. <laughs> the kiss that made me famous. Ready? Ready. Contact. Wow, where did you learn to kiss like that? Siphoning gas out of cars. <laughs> well, what do you say, Lucille? How about another kiss? No, thanks. I'd rather give you the stocking. You fellas turn your backs and I'll take them off. Come on, Costello. Turn around. Yeah, and no rubber necking. Don't worry. I won't rubber. Ball. <laughs> I thought it was funny. You're just the type that would rubber heel. <laughs> well, I hope you're happy, Costello. You finally got those nylons. Now let's go. Come in. Hello, Lucille, darling. I just came over to... Why, my fat little sugar man, what are you all doing here two-timing on me? You all are a kid, sir. I never want to see you again. What do you say to that? Well, shut my mouth. 
Abbott? She did. <laughs> it serves you right. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? I mean, after all. Look, Connie, why do you treat me this way? Look, I got to get you to... I got you to nylon stockings. Why, sure enough, honey. Bless your fat little heart. <laughs> well, why did you all... Uh, why didn't you have them wrapped as a gift? Wrapped as a gift? I thought you were going to wear them. Chuck, no, I'm giving them to Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball? Wait a minute. Then who have I got a date with tonight? Not with me, sugar. Not with me, shorty. That's all. Nobody wants me. The world's against me. Ah, uh, don't talk like that, Lou. I'm your pal. My arms are around you. How do you feel? I still feel lonesome. <laughs> then rest your head on my shoulder, Lou. Okay, Abbott. Now, how do you feel? Much better. Let's dance. Get out of here! <laughs> Abbott and Costello will be back in just a moment. And now here's Abbott and Costello with the final word. Thanks, Ken. Well, folks, next Thursday is Thanksgiving. And Jane Wyman will be here to help us celebrate. And be sure to tune in, everybody. We won't have a turkey, but that Jane Wyman. What a chicken! Woo! Good night, folks. Good night. Good night, everybody at the Lone Pond. Woo-hoo! This is Ken Niles wishing you all a very pleasant good night from Hollywood. Thank you.